right now on 12 on Health. Do you have an aspirin strategy to head off a heart attack? Plus, advice for folks who are down and out of work right now. Practical steps to reinvigorate your job hunt. And key weapons used to combat a potentially deadly reaction to foods or a bee sting. Can you count on access to an EpiPen in the event of an emergency? This is 12 on Health with Gillian Neff. Hello, everyone. Welcome to this edition of 12 on Health. You're watching News 12 Connecticut, as local as local news gets. Now, we begin with the subject of breast cancer. And you know when the cool air hits that October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, is just a weeks away. One younger than usual American Cancer Society volunteer reminds us why there's a need to keep pushing for breast cancer research. Jacob Weber is on the case. One person actually brought a big jar. $5 bills, $20 bills, one check. Eight-year-old Jacob Weber is a little businessman raising big money. To find a cure soon because my mom has breast cancer. Today, he climbed a chair to the podium at the Making Strides Against Breast Cancer kickoff breakfast to describe how he rakes in fundraising dollars. Last year in third grade, I raised $2,500 during a penny drive at my school. He won a Making Strides Pace Setter Award for that. It's amazing. Kids pouring in all of their pennies from their jars. Jacob's mom, Neva, says her cancer is chronic. It has spread to vital organs. Let's go! But she'll be walking at Making Strides at Sherwood Island in Westport as she does every year. Are we ready to walk? And you realize you're not alone. With a huge fundraising team and a plan for the future. I would like to fight until there's a cure that I can take in my arm and be done with it completely. And that's what we're trying to reach for. You can bet that Jacob and his little sister Julia will be at her side cheering her on. It feels good to be doing something important. just precious and that was last year. Now if you're impressed with Jacob Weber and his way of making a difference in the face of a difficult situation, wait till you meet his mom. You just saw her in the story but Neva Weber is our guest now. She has been battling breast cancer for four years and all the while a huge force in making strides against breast cancer. Thanks for being here. My pleasure. You're doing it again this year. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't, I can't get away from it. You cannot be stopped. No. Um, I would just wanted to say about Jacob while we're on that subject. Um, he raised a lot of money. We have a picture of him holding a big check. Right. And he got an award. Yeah. Uh, last year, he raised over $2,000. And the year before that was $2,500. Oh, boy. He's something and else. He's now he's, he's in fifth grade. Yep. And he's starting next week. He's such a little gentleman, too. And your daughter is in on this fight, too. Absolutely. Why is that important? She, why is it important that she's... That they're involved. That they're, well, it makes them feel like they are doing something. It mm. makes them feel like they're helping me. And since they're children, they don't have any other way to really feel that they're making a difference. So however they can help, they do. They fundraise with me, they walk with me, they take care of me when I'm not feeling well, and give me lots of love and hugs and kisses, and they are doing as much as they possibly can to help us in the fight against breast cancer. Whenever you speak at one of these events, they are so proud. They are beaming when mom is up there. Um, think they're learning something from your fight? Well, I hope so, Gillian, because it, if I can teach my children one thing, it's not to give up, even in the face of adversity, mm. and to keep fighting. Even if you're not feeling well, to keep fighting. So that's what I hope that they are learning. I think hope, how big is hope in the picture of um, forging ahead in terms of raising money, keeping a happy face on? Hope is very big. It's the only thing that we really have because right now I have stage four metastatic breast cancer so I will be living with breast cancer for the rest of my life so we can hope that the rest of my life is a long time we can hope that people will be as generous as they have been in years past with our fundraising and so far 
Westport Babes, my team has raised over thirteen thousand dollars. Her team is Westport Babes, in <laughs> case you don't know yet. Westport Babes, yes. Um, and tell us, the money goes a long way. It's amazing. I learned this year that if you raise one hundred and thirty dollars, which is ten dollars for thirteen people, that's not bad. It it gives a woman a wig from the American Cancer Society, a wig that will make them feel better. Not a pink wig. Well, no, not a pink wig. <laughs> I just have to laugh because we show these pictures because I just love that you attack these, you attack these efforts. The, I remember the year you wore the pink wig. Um, but in seriousness, real beautiful wigs. Beautiful wigs, wigs that you would never know were a wig unless you're the one wearing it. Mm -hmm. uh, in fact, I've actually worn a wig from the American Cancer Society when I've gone out to speak uh, mm -hmm. when my hair is falling out, okay. which it does on occasion. Right. Um, $300, if you raise $300, you can pay for a night at Hope Lodge, which is a hotel or there are, there are lodges mm -hmm. owned by the American Cancer Society for cancer patients. So if a patient has to travel and can't afford to pay for a hotel room, they can ask the American Cancer Society to put them up in Hope Lodge. And there's one in Boston, I think, and one in mm -hmm. New York. There are a lot of services. I know the American Cancer Society obviously wants research, and they're after the research. But in the meantime, they're providing a lot of services. Were there services that you were able to take advantage of? I have not, other than the wigs. But I do know people who have gotten rides to appointments mm -hmm. and I also know women who have used the look good feel better program oh, yeah. where they learn how to do makeup when they have no hair mm -hmm. because when you have no hair you also have no eyebrows and, mm. and no eyelashes so you have to create the features a little right. more and that is a they're free programs to mm. women going through breast cancer and we've met up with them. They really do. They leave that session feeling better. Feeling it's not, um, there's nothing wrong with working on the outside. The, you know what I mean? When you feel good on the outside, it makes you feel good on the inside. Mm -hmm. So, and people won't feel sorry for you. Did, no. Is that ever a concern? For me? Yeah. Sometimes, but I tell people not to mm -hmm. be sorry for me. Um, it is nothing to feel sorry for me about. I feel pretty good most of the time and I'm alive. Okay. And that's that's what I need to be. Okay. So and it's something I'll be living with for the rest of my life, so don't feel sorry for me. Just um, give Westport Babes money. And the event <laughs> is October twenty first. Yes. We'll be talking more about it, but we wanted to let people know so they get it on their calendars. Thank you so much, Neva Weber. If you don't have health insurance, by the way, you can still get screened for breast cancer. For example, this Tuesday, Ultimate Solutions Wellness in Darien is offering free mammograms.